Okay, release technique for your piriformis. Uh, your piriformis sits deep, deep beneath your glutes. So it's coming from your sacrum and then it's wrapping across and it's coming onto the greater trochanter, which is the top of your leg bone, this prominent leg bone here. It kind of sits like a pizza slice coming across like so. And there's several techniques we can use to try and release this muscle. Um, start with a roller. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to treat my right piriformis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, sit on the piriformis like so. So I'm going, I'm thinking tailbone to top of leg, that kind of area, yeah? Because this is quite a broad surface, if I lean back slightly, if I'm thinking, okay, I'm going from my tailbone, but it's going to cover all the way up through the glutes and I'm going to roll out to the top of my leg to here. So that's where we want it, the roller to kind of sit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right foot and pull it over my right, um, I'm going to over my right knee, not a gymnast, over my left knee, okay? And then I'm going to roll like so until I find the most tender point, which is there. Okay. Now I'm on my most tender point. I can just hang out here, hang out here for 30 seconds to two minutes, see if the muscle will release. Or what I can do is come, oh, it's worse than it. Okay. Come just to the side of it. Then I'm going to lock by putting all my body weight down. Then I'm going to stretch by pulling my knee towards me. Hold, one, two, release. Okay. So tender point, roll just to the side. So I'm moving my, I'm shifting to the left. And then lock by sitting down with my body weight. Stretch by bringing my knee across. Hold, one, two, and then release. I can continue to do 12 to 20 of these, trying to release that piriformis. Okay, it's quite, it's quite a good effective technique, but it's quite broad with a roller. I prefer the ball personally, but it's personal choice. It's whichever, you, whichever works for you. I mean, you're quite welcome to buy both of me. I don't mind. <laughs> Um, and I wouldn't be doing it on a soft surface like this, yeah, of the couch. I'll be doing it on the floor, a hard surface to give that pressure back up through. This is too soft. Particularly, well, maybe not, but particularly with the bowler, okay? With a spiky ball, I personally start on a slightly softer surface like a sofa, and I prefer to do it in a sitting position. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ball straight under my glute and with my foot on my knee I can just now shift my body weight to roll about to find the most tender area and when I found it I can just hang out there okay and I find this more comfortable than trying to hold myself on my arms I'm just sat I can so now I can fully relax onto the ball and just wait to see if it goes yeah um I would start on a soft surface because the ball's quite specific and I would progress then to being sat on the floor to do this one. If it's not going or if I want to treat it in a different way, what I can do is I'm on my tender point, just roll slightly off it to the left, lock by leaning my body weight down through my hip, stretch by cranking my knee up. It's like I'm bringing it to my chin hold one two and then release okay so lean down in lock knee up stretch see it hurts hold one two and then release and do 12 to 20 like that and see if i can release it like that okay and then once that's happy i can then just shift about to somewhere else and move it on to somewhere else and then i'll progress to a harder floor personally you know, like I say, it's all personal, you know, people's skills. Some people love rollers. For the piriformis, personally, and I've self-treated myself with this, I prefer the ball. Started with a ball, sat on the sofa on a night, watching line of duty, stretch it off that way, progress to sitting on the floor. Um, and yeah, and then I found that more effective. But it's up to you. Play with both, have a go with both, uh, and see which one you prefer.